Hi friends! Today is the day. It is bookshelf tour day. I have been talking about a bookshelf tour since January and honestly uh, it just is scary to try to film one and really the editing process is the process that is the most terrifying. And also I was trying to figure out how I was going to do my TBR shelves and how I was just going to make everything come together because my TBR shelves are kind of in a weird place and I also have some of my red books are in that same weird place and so it's just very difficult for me to try to figure out all of lo the logistics of what I was going to do but I have it figured out now. So this video will just be the bookshelves behind me that are my red shelves and a little bit of my red shelves that are up on the top shelf um, up by the ceiling. And there will be a second video that is a TBR tour that will be just my TBR shelves. And I don't know if that's going to go up before or after this video but whichever, once it's live, I will link it in the description box below as well as in the cards so that you can check out my TBR tour as well. So essentially, as you can see behind me, there's a cat, there's some books, there's some, just a few books down below the back of the couch. Not a lot, but there are some down there. Um, so those I will just be pulling out um, onto the shelf above and going over those, but then the rest I will just be going through the shelves and showing you what all I have. I have a previous video, I think from like last June, that was like an overview where I kind of talked about some of my favorites and some covers, some that are autographed, things like that. Um, but this is going to be a full bookshelf tour, as promised. I am super excited to show you my shelves. Um, there should be quite a few more books than what you've seen in June's video. So if you watched that one, this will be different. I've reorganized them like 16 times since then. I'm I'm crazy about reorganizing bookshelves. I do it about once a month. Um, like the bulk of it doesn't change, but a lot of times, especially if I have just read like 10 books or so in the month that we're in, when I go to put them back on, I'm like, okay, well this doesn't fit and this doesn't fit and this doesn't fit. And I just kind of go crazy and reorganize a lot of the things on it. And I've done that recently because last month I read about 14 books. So very... <laughs> Very often it gets reorganized and also if you're wondering my books especially the ones that are behind me are kind of just organized like by my favorites and then a little bit by genre but not completely by genre and I try to keep like things together. I try to keep um, the same author together whether they are the same genre or not. I have whole shelves dedicated to a single author. I have two shelves dedicated to a single author. I used to have three shelves dedicated to a single author. I used to have three Cassie Clare shelves, but I've kind of finagled them into two shelves at this point. But it's it's a mess. It's beautiful. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let's get to it. So here is your large overview of my shelves and Merlin. As I said, there are some books back behind the couch. The first shelf, like where Merlin is actually laying on the couch, that is actually where the cats keep their food and water so that the dogs don't get into it. But the other two both have books on them. So I'm gonna pull those out onto the shelf above and go through those for you first. So we will be looking at this beautiful Cassie Clare shelf while I pull up the books from below. Strange Candy by Laurel K. Hamilton. This is a collection of short stories. The Divergent series by Veronica Roth. They are Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant. Also part of that series I have the four collection of short stories. Aragon by Christopher Paolini. Shatter Me by Tejeda Mafi. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. They are The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Parts of the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. This is what I have read so far. Red Queen, Cruel Crown, Glass Sword, and King's Cage. Paradise by Toni Morrison, Yes Please by Amy Poehler, Unfiltered by Lily Collins, Wishful Drinking by Carrie Fisher, You're Never Weird on the Internet by Felicia Day, As You Wish, Inconceivable Tales from the Making of the Princess Bride by Carrie Ellis, Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick. This is an ancient collection of Edgar Allan Poe. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Mary Bloody Mary by Carolyn Meyer, this is an ancient collection of short stories by various different authors. Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell, which I don't actually think I ever finished, but I did read more than half of as a child. 
The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson, The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, and Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I have two copies of Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks, obvious reasons. And that is everything from behind the couch, so we're gonna go to the shelf farthest on the left, directly above the couch. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the Hufflepuff edition. I also have Luna Lovegood's wand. The Harry Potter series, including the Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, which has no dust jacket, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, The Deathly Hollows, and yes, even The Cursed Child. I have two complete sets of the Folk of the Air. I have the Barnes and Noble editions, uh, The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and Queen of Nothing. The Wicked King is currently loaned out. I also have the original covers with the dust jackets from the Hangover Recovery Kit box of The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and Queen of Nothing. The next 40 or so books are all by Cassandra Clare. We have The Red Scrolls of Magic, which is the first book in The Eldest Curses, co-written with Wesley Chu. The Dark Artifices series, which includes Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness. And now we're back to that Cassie Clare shelf. We have The Bane Chronicles and Tales from Shadowhunter Academy that are co-written with Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. The first three volumes of the Mortal Instruments graphic novels with artwork by Cassandra Jean. The manga of The Infernal Devices, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. I cannot pronounce the artist's name, so I will put it on the screen for you. The 10th anniversary editions of City of Bones, Clockwork Angel, as well as the Shadowhunter Codex that is co-written with Joshua Lewis. The UK paperback editions of the Mortal Instruments series, they are City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. The next 12 books are all the US paperback editions with the spine art. These first three are the Infernal Devices, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. <laughs> The Mortal Instrument series, again, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Lost Souls, City of Fallen Angels, those are out of order, and City of Heavenly Fire, those would not sit up there to save my life. And the last three, which we've also already seen, Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness. And that, my friends, is the end of the Cassie Clare shelves, for now. We're gonna have to do these ones on a bit of an angle, just because of what's in front of the shelf, but let's roll with it. The Winter Sister by Megan Collins. Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Well Met by Jen DeLuca. The Lies We Told by Camilla Way. Confess and November 9, both by Colleen Hoover. Meant to Be Broken by Brandy Wood Snow. The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams. The Dry by Jane Harper. Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. The first two books of The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. They are The Kiss of Deception and The Heart of Betrayal. The Hunter Trilogy by Mercedes Lackey. They are Hunter, Elite, and Apex. Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller. First Life by Gina Showalter. My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. What the Dead Want by Nora Olson. The Wicked series by Nancy Holder and Debbie Vigay. It includes Witch, Curse, Legacy, Spellbound, and Resurrection. Keeper by Kim Chance. Hocus Pocus, the all-new sequel, somewhat sort of by Disney. The Wicked Deep by Shea Earnshaw. Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. Toil and Trouble, 15 Tales of Women in Witchcraft, edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tessa Sharp. The Caster Chronicles by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. That includes Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos, and Beautiful Redemption. Also by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, the Dangerous Creatures duology, which is Dangerous Creatures and Dangerous Deception. The Nightworld series by LJ Smith. It includes Secret Vampire, Daughters of Darkness, Spellbinder, Dark Angel, The Chosen, Soulmate, Huntress, Black Dawn, and Witchlight. Throne of Glass, Sarah J Maas and A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The next shelf is all Rick Riordan, and it is somewhat in chronological order, but not really. Percy Jackson and the Olympians. They are The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth, 
Sword of Hades, and The Last Olympian. The Heroes of Olympus series, it is The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus. The Trials of Apollo, they are The Hidden Oracle, The Dark Prophecy, The Burning Maze, and The Tyrant's Tomb. The Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series, they are The Sword of Summer, The Hammer of Thor, The Ship of the Dead, and Nine from the Nine Worlds. Finally, we have the Cain Chronicles, which include The Red Pyramid, The Throne of Fire, and The Serpent's Shadow. This shelf is almost completely Susan Dennard. We have the Something Strange and Deadly series, which includes Something Strange and Deadly, A Darkness Strange and Lovely, and Strange and Ever After. The original U.S. hardcovers, which includes Truth Witch, Wind Witch, Sight Witch, and Blood Witch. I have two copies of this edition of Blood Witch. The new U.S. covers for the Witchland series, Truth Witch, Wind Witch, and Blood Witch. They did not redo a cover for Sight Witch for some strange reason. And the U.K. cover editions of the Witchland series, Truth Witch, Wind Witch, Blood Witch, again, did not do a cover for Sight Witch. Sky in the Deep and The Girl the Sea Gave Back, both by Adrienne Young. And then we get into my very small collection of graphic novels, which will not stand up on their own, so we will just show those to you quickly. Zodiac Star Force by The Powers of Astra, which is volume one, and Cries of the Fire Prince, which is volume two, Spell on Wheels, and I have volumes one and two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer season eight. Four more shelves to go, friends! Oh god, five more, five more, five more shelves to go. 13 Little Blue Envelopes, and The Last Little Blue Envelope by Maureen Johnson. Truly Devious, The Vanishing Stair and the Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Elston. To All the Boys I've Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han. Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. In the Key of Niragani by Natasha Dean. Our Chemical Hearts and a Semi-Definitive List of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. The Hate You Give and On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed. This Heart of Mine by C.C. Hunter. The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You by Lily Anderson. What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio. Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tuhalke. The Faults in Our Stars by John Green. Okay, the shelf above this, I'm gonna bring those books down to this shelf and show them to you because some of them are too tall to stand on that shelf, um, which is why they are sideways. So just for ease of use sake, that's what we're doing. The Third Twin by Sijo Amalolu. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares and the Twelve Days of Dash and Lily by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. Snow and Love by Melissa De La Cruz, Nick Stone, Amy Friedman, and Casey West. The Duff by Cody Kaplinger. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. On the Fence, The Fill-In Boyfriend and By Your Side, all by Casey West. Gigarella by Ashley Poston. Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. How My Private Personal Journal Became a Bestseller by Julia DeVillers. The Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot. The Magisterium series by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. They are The Iron Trial, The Copper Gauntlet, The Bronze Key, The Silver Mask, and The Golden Tower. I can't promise those are in the right order. Nightmares by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller. The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Several books from the Creepover series by P.J. Knight. I have Truth or Dare. You Can't Come In Here, Ready for a Scare, The Show Must Go On, There's Something Out There, and It's All Downhill From Here. And the last book on that shelf, The Search for Wandla by Tony Dieterlizzi. And finally, we will be on our top last three shelves, the first of which is almost exclusively Rochelle Mead. First, we have the Vampire Academy series, which are Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kissed, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice. I also have the 10th anniversary edition of Vampire Academy. I also have the three graphic novels from the Vampire Academy series. They did the first three books, Vampire Academy, Frostbite, and Shadow Kiss. We then have the Bloodline series, which is Bloodlines, The Golden Lily, The Fiery Heart, Indigo Spell, Silver Shadows, and The Ruby Circle. Can't even see that girl's face. I also have Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Slayer by Kirsten White. A Night Without Stars by J.A. Eaton. And The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. We have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. That includes Stalking Jack the Ripper, Hunting Prince Dracula, Escaping from Houdini, and Capturing the Devil. Renegades by Marissa Meyer. The Lunar Chronicles, also from Marissa Meyer. They are Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Fairest, 
Winter and Stars Above, Riser by Becca C. Smith, Starflight and Starfall by Melissa Landers, Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, Empress of a Thousand Skies and Blood of a Thousand Stars by Rhoda Baeza, The Diabolic and the Empress by S.J. Kincaid, Once and Future by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy, and now for our final shelf. Shiver and Linger by Maggie Stiefvater, Rubble Bell, Miss Mayhem and Lady Renegades by Rachel Hawkins, Hex Hall, Demon Glass and Spellbound also by Rachel Hawkins, Song of the Dryad by Natalia Lee, Elemental Reality by Sesha Kono, Pale Queen Rising and Cold Dream Dawning by A.R. Kaler, Twisted Fate and Twisted Gift by Jesse Elliott, the first six volumes of the Witch graphic novel series, Avalon High by Meg Cabot, which I think I'm gonna put down here in Princess Diaries actually. And then the rest are all by Amanda Hawking. We have the Trill Trilogy, Switched, Torn, and Ascend. The Canaan Chronicles, Frostfire, Ice Kissed, and Crystal Kingdom. And Between the Blade and the Heart, and From the Earth to the Shadows, which are the Valkyrie duology. Y'all, I just remembered we haven't talked about the books up there yet. It is going to be near impossible for me to actually get up there um, because my desk is underneath of these shelves so I'm just going to tell you what is up there. I'm not going to pull them out. This is going to be the best we can get guys. Up here you have the first 12 books of the Women's Murder Club series by James Patterson and then from about right there down to here is the first eight books I believe in Laurel K. Hamilton's Anita Blake series and then all that she has published so far of the Mary Gentry series. I then have the 12 books in the Marked series by PC and Kristen Cast as well as the four novellas and a couple of their additional books as well that go along with the world. I have the Fallen series by Lauren Kate, Flame in the Mist and Smoke in the Sun by Renee Avier. Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, The Scarlet Reaper, which is, I believe, the original Cameron Cross version, the first book in Miss Peregrine's Home for Familiar Children. I've read the whole series, but I really only enjoyed the first book, so that was the only one that I kept. I believe that that is everything. So those are my bookshelves. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the books that you may have seen, please feel free to ask those in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer any of them for you. If there's a book that you've seen that you um, are interested in reading, some of the books that I have back here I have full review videos for and I will try to link all of those down below as well. So if you've seen something and you want to know if I have a full review for it, probably down there. I also, as always, down below you will have my links to Goodreads, so if you want to look up anything on there you can do that as well. There's a lot of things down here, always, down here. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you subscribe, and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!